bought this Nintendo Switch Lite on eBay. It's got stuff sellotaped to the back of it, which is nice. And this is how much I paid for it. And the listing says, no power and doesn't charge. It also says that it's had a prior repair attempt. And seemingly the parts attached to the back are two screws which are left over. And looks like a couple of chips. So they've tried to replace, I believe, the M92 and the B... whatever it is. BQ. But not been successful. So what makes me think I'm going to be successful? Nothing. Nothing makes me think that. Right, well let's plug it into the amp meter and see what it's doing. 15 volts. 0 0.12 amps. Nothing on the screen. Let's try it the other way around. It flickered then, didn't it? Same. 14.8, 0.13. Hmm. Still nothing on the screen. Okay. Right, let's take this apart. Here we go with the flow, rapping again, oh no. The switch with a glitch to fix, let's make some dough. Gotta thank all the patrons who support the show. Like Tidda, Ellis Garvin, Monkey Joe, Tokyo. Love it or hate it, you better gang way. You better hit bullseye, the kid don't play. If there is a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Skip on ahead, stop and test it and leave it. That's a princess wizard, mid who wager, two shares western. That's a Funkenstein, Daft, Willy, Jam, Rag, M1, Tin Man. Runs vintage electronics, RVE for short. When Jockey A1 bass, thanks for your support. Special shout out goes to 60 does stuff. Doing stuff is enough when the going gets tough. Fletch of yet, Inflame, Flux, Oz, Newton. Insert stupid name here, let's go with Ivor Biggin. Mick Adams, Nate, Infinity, Ben Rush. Like Jennifer Page, it's just a little crush. Markovitz, 19, Andrew Fascio, Jonathan Wiggs. John Prushik, Jonathan Hunter, Ryan Giggs. Adam, Audio Taylor, Varoki closes out. Let's get back to the switch, what this show's about. Prior repair attempt, you say, what can be so bad? Is it sad? Then I'm glad. Hope it don't make me mad. Peace. Well, that's where one of the screws is missing from. Um, I guess that's the other one. Oh, great. I think we may have water damage. Although the board looks okay, to be fair. Let's check the voltage in the battery. Voltage DC. Absolutely nothing. Right, well, I think that battery is completely dead. I'm just going to plug it back in and see if it's actually taking a charge. I suspect not. Yes it is, because that is climbing. Right, let's get this under the microscope and let's see around here M92 and BQ. Voice over Steve here. I realized whilst editing this that the microscope decides to write over the SD card when it gets full. So because something towards the end of this video took me a ridiculous amount of time, everything at the beginning that I recorded has been wiped. Therefore, I don't have any actual footage other than this ridiculous racy angle here. Well, Timidor and Continuity, which is the mode that does this. <laughs> So a black probe on ground, let's check some of these caps for shorts. Well, I can't find any around there. Ah, this one. Which is not connected to the M92, I don't think. Well, that one is definitely short, maybe it's supposed to. Check out gnomes. On this side we have 0 0.2 and on this side we have 0 0.2. That's a dead short. Let's try the BQ. Okay, we've got a short there. I think that's it. So just on that one capacitor there, which in turn I suppose could put the sh the other short further on in the board. Double check that on Ohm's reading. We've got 0 0.2 on that side and 
zero point one on that side. Dead short. I just need to uh, borrow Dave again. He always comes in useful for this sort of stuff. Right, I'm going to take that cap off, see if the short's still there. Yes, it is. So I'm going to take this chip off, and then we'll see if the short's gone. I'll also put that capacitor back on while I'm doing it. Right, let's just see if that short's gone now. No, it has not. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put that cap back on. Maybe the cap is shorted as well. Just to be on the safe side, let's take it back off again. I think it's fine. I think the short's coming from somewhere else, but... Yeah, the capacitor is fine. Alright, now what do I do? Could it still be the M92? It could. I mean, it doesn't look great, does it? It looks like it's got a bit missing here. In fact, it has got a bit missing there. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take off the M92 as well while we're here. Alright, let's see if that short's still there. I'm guessing yes. Yes, it is. I mean, what's this little... What is this little chip here? I don't know what it is, but it definitely looks damaged. VOS again. I took the chip off. Turns out it was a BGA chip. Great. This is it under the microscope after I'd taken it off. And you can see the damage on there, hopefully. It was basically... The top of it was almost like split in two. Hopefully now, live performing Steve, will go and find a donor board. I think I'm going to have to go and find a donor board. Excellent. Right, found a donor board. Don't know what's wrong with this one. It does still have the BQ and M92 on it. And also, whatever that is there. Well, I've come this far. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because it's a BGA chip. But let's take the whatever this thing is off this donor board. Pop all the chips back onto the faulty one, and let's see what reading we're getting then. Right, I've got some 0.25mm balls. Hmm. Okay. How's that? I think that's pretty good. I don't think I can get it any better than that. Oh, I'm just going to go for it.
it moved, went back into place, but uh, I mean, I don't, I still don't think it's going to work. But oh, the shots one though. Okay, here goes. Oh, <gasps> come on! Oh, it's gone off. Oh, well, that was short-lived. Strike the other way. That's because it's come on! And gone off again. Maybe I should have left it plugged in. Ah. Not good. I've forgotten how to take those off. Well, it all appears to work. I guess it was just that little BGA chip. I mean, the M92 could have been faulty as well. It did have a crack sort of to the side of the chip. Uh, but the BQ is obviously okay. I still don't know what that chip is. If anyone knows, please let me know. Stupid pink Nintendo Switch thing with parental controls on it. It's just a little crush Not like I think every time we touch It's just some little thing Not like everything I do Depends on you